Hey guys, it's Framed, and today I'm here to bring the old school RuneScape RuneFest recap of 2015. To start off their panel, the old school team reviewed what they have done since last RuneFest as well as showcasing the new bosses and full screen update. The old school team then discussed the previous projections of bonds having an impact on members, showing us the effect it truly had which was better than the previous projections. Mon Matt K discussed the existing content that may need to be revived, stating how they will discuss it further with the community as time goes on. Up next was Mod Ghost who discussed developments on the new continent, Zaya. He stated how Zaya will be coming in three different phases. The first phase is set to be launched in January. The first phase is unlocking the city of Karind, a city that has a heavy focus upon skilling. The city has five houses and each house has several skills. It is also worth mentioning that House Arceus, one of the five houses within the city, will be introducing the new Dark Magic Spellbook. They also want to introduce new altars and many hidden catacombs to spy on the other houses. All of these houses will be giving new ways to do existing skills. It is worth noting that these skills will not be any better than the existing methods. They will just be a new way to train existing skills. Mod Ghost has done a great job writing the lore there, so if you want to hear more about this city, then check out the VOD to the livestream down below. Phase 2 of Zay is going to be a PVM related update, mainly consisting of a raid dungeon which will let you team up with up to 100 accounts. There will also be new Slayer monsters. Phase 2 is set to be released in June of 2016. Phase 3 was not really touched upon much but it was stated how it was going to be a giant coliseum in which players can duel one another. Up next mods Archie and Kieran discuss the new quest in the works, Monkey Madness 2. This quest has a new demon boss that you will have to fight. This new boss has new mechanics that will make both this quest, as well as the boss fight, a very challenging feat. After this quest, there will be access to new demons, which may be tormented demons, I wasn't sure if they were joking or not. New high level skilling content, a new farming patch, as well as new gnome glider locations. Up next, Mod Alfred discussed the Fight Caves expansion, expanding past wave 62 and being an extremely hard fight. This will take place in a fallen cavern within the Fight Caves. There are new creatures and a new final wave that will reward players with a new best in slot cape. After that, Mod Ash discussed the new Archaeus house that needs help with skilling, helping them contain a power within the process. If you want to see more on that, I suggest clicking the VOD down below. Next up is both Mod John C and Mod Ash to discuss the new construction expansion. They would like to introduce a new house building menu that gives a lot of freedom to building your house. The first update that they want to introduce is a superior garden which will have the option to add a fairy ring, a spirit tree, as well as customizable bushes shaped like boss monsters. There will also be the option to have a pool which will heal all stats and hit points. They would also like to introduce an achievement gallery which will allow you to change spell books within your house as well as adding a jewelry box, a skill cape carpet, a skill cape cape rack, as well as a boss slayer display case which will allow you to put use to those jars that John C has added to the monster drop tables. Lastly, mods Ronan and Ian discuss the upcoming dead man mode which is a PvP everywhere mode where you can be allowed to kill any players at any time. If you get killed, then players will be allowed to raid your bank for up to 28 item slots. This world will be 5 times XP, but when you die, you lose 50% of all of your XP. You are allowed to actually keep 5 slots of skills though. The logout timer is longer and the grand exchange is also disabled. That's all for this video. If you would like to watch the whole Old School RuneFest livestream, then click the link to the Twitch VOD in the description. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to give it a like. There are new creatures and a new final wave. There are new creatures and a new final wave that will. There are new creatures and a new final wave that will reward players with a new best in slot cape. <laughs> <laughs>